Hey guys, it's Froha here again, and I know I promised you guys a Demon Hunter spec today, but I really couldn't wait to show you guys this video. Uh, for the last month or so, I've been really working on trying to get the fastest and most efficient uh, Paragon run possible. It's been tweaked multiple, multiple times, and uh, I've come up with a pretty fast run. Uh, what I did is pretty much um, calculated uh, the fastest areas in the game by just doing runs over and over again, calculating my experience per minute, experience per run, and timing the runs, and all that garbage, writing down my findings and stuff like that, you know, the usual stuff, and found out the fastest areas in the game, put it together in a quick run, um, the most efficient possible uh, uh, route, and this is actually 20% faster than El Kaiser run on average. Uh, sometimes uh, I can get even more than that. I mean, this works for all characters as well. Uh, monks, demon hunters, whatever, whirlwind barbs, tempest rush monks, witch doctors, it works for everything pretty much. I've tried it because I have all the characters, um, I've ran it through and it's still possibly uh, the fastest run out there. Prove me if I'm wrong, uh, I would love to hear a faster run. So I'm going to go right into the run here guys, and uh, it's a pretty simple run, it takes about 15 minutes. Um, you're going to obviously act 3, and of course you're going to go to the Sky Crown Battlement, okay? Uh, this is where you're going to get your pretty much 4 to 5 stacks of NV, okay? It's actually um, the slowest uh, experience per second, I guess you'd be, or the smallest experience per second or experience per minute um, out of all of the areas um, in this run, but it does have a very high density of elites. So like I said, um, you're going to have elite an elite um, pretty much every 30 seconds. Um, I've timed it out and you're going to have 4 or 5 uh, elites. So this is the best place to get your NV stacks in Act 3. Um, so I'd like to go there right away. Um, once you're right through Sky Crown Battlements, you're just going to uh, take a town portal. Um, as soon as you see that little door, I actually waited a little bit longer. I should have uh, shouldn't have ran down the stairs, but I wanted to show you guys as soon as you get to the door. Um, and then as soon as you do that, you're going to go to the Tower of the Dam level 1. And uh, pretty much, this is a fairly fast run. It's about the same as Sky Crown Battlements. Um, it's not that high density, but there are a lot of elites. You're gonna find an elite, like I said, an, it's just it's almost the same as Sky Crown Battlements again, and pretty much every 30 seconds. Um, there's there's a few in here. Um, on average, there's about two elites you, you stumble across. Uh, I know that's not a lot, but uh, it's a very quick run. You just go right in a circle. Um, as, of course, you, it's pretty much in every run uh, you do tower the dam. Uh, so once you get through that, uh, you're going to go to uh, the Keep's Death level 1, and then you're going to go into level 2, just through that little door. And um, as soon as you're in there, you're just going to thrash through, of course. Uh, this is actually one of the most high density, of course most people obviously know that. Alakazer did it in his run, but uh, this is the second most, believe it or not, second most high density uh, level. Actually third, sorry. Third, what am I saying second for? It's actually only the third um, highest experience per minute uh, area in the game. Um, yeah, we'll get to the first uh, next, um, but yeah, this is this is a fairly good little run. Um, I usually go right to the breach, um, as, and as soon as I get to the breach, I TP out, and then you're gonna go to uh, you're gonna go back to town, and of course hit the waypoint to Racky's Crossing. Um, this is actually the most uh, experience you will get in the game, um, and a lot of people will leave it out on their runs. I was guilty of that before in the past um, until I started time in my runs and. Uh, and uh, realizing that it's literally it's just a beast beast um, little run I know it's it's a it's quick um, but it's very high density um, and it's a must for any run um, so pretty much and you're gonna take that all the way to the fields of slaughter um, and once you get to uh, the fields you're gonna do pretty much what I do um, it's the same as I do on all fields of slaughter runs kind of like Usually I do a big circle, but in this case I kind of do more of a, I don't know, you just trying to cover up the whole area pretty much. You can do it any way you want, um, and then you go right down to the waypoint. So you want to clear it all to, until you get to the waypoint, and then you're going to go to the last place, which is the second high, most high density um, place in the game, um, and it's a red crater to level 2. Uh, my favorite place because you just like literally just thrash people. Um, huge combos like you see in the in the clip here, um, and I just love it. It's really fun. Uh, it's it it actually like it's it's not a boring run, and you you can literally switch the order up of these if you really want to because I know it gets uh, really repetitive. This is the fastest possible way I've come up with. I've tested it so many times, guys. 
Um, uh, if you guys do notice something that uh, could be quicker, let me know. Uh, it'll help me a lot to, uh, as well. And there's another thing you can do to add onto the run. Uh, you can add a few places. Um, you can add the uh, Caverns of Frost. It's actually in the Fields of Slaughter. If you go in there, you can get, I think, four elites on average. And that's an elite every 20 seconds I've averaged it out, which is insane. So that, yeah, but it will slow down your experience per uh, per minute. So uh, that's just if you want to, uh, if, if say you're Paragon 100 already and you just want mad loot, um, you, you can't leave out Caverns of the Frost or Frost. Another place you can't leave out is Core of a Rit. As you see, it wasn't on my run, um, and but it's very slow on experience compared to um, my other six areas that I had. So you're pretty much gonna find two elites on average in there, sometimes three. Uh, but it's so if you find two, it's one every 25 seconds, which is freaking insane. That's even higher than Sky Crown. So uh, those are two places if you're really looking for loot, uh, you can't leave out. So just slip those in the run sometime. Uh, but yeah, guys. Uh, I'm gonna pretty much uh, sum that up right there. That's my run, guys. It's uh, like I said, it's faster than Alkaiser's, uh, quite faster than Alkaiser's. Um, I know his is an old run, but a lot of people still stick to that. So uh, if you guys want something new and fresh, uh, this is a great run. Um, I still have not uh, been able to think of something faster than this one. So uh, uh, maybe I'll go back to the drawing board and uh, try to try to come up with something even quicker. But uh, I hope you enjoyed this little video, guys. Um, the spec I'm using in the uh, the uh, multi-shot spec that I'm using in there. Uh, I will go over that tomorrow. Um, that the whole build that I do and stuff like that. It's, it doesn't look like it's much, but uh, it's a really cool build. Um, I'm able to get 70 million, around 70 million experience per hour on average, um, using it. Uh, and I'm not using that set at all, uh, which is a lot of people are looking for um, builds that you can uh, that you don't have to use that set. Um, it's a really cool build, a lot of cool uh, gear. It's, it's different than your usual build. I'm not even using a Manticore in it and I can still like slaughter people. It's not a very uh, pricey build either. I, I guess it could get pricey if you, if you really want to smash uh, smash monsters, but nonetheless guys, I'm jabbering away again, so I'm gonna end it. Uh, hope you enjoyed the run and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Cheers.